Okay, so let's continue. In this video, we're going to add the configurations. So this is going to be a short video, I guess, just to handle all the configurations with uh, MySQL and um, Firebase, just to have all that so we can focus on the other routes. Well, this one is not doing anything, but okay, let's say here is going to be your config okay no config config so we already have flask here flask mysql db and we're going to create this config okay that is going to be used by flask so let's say mysql host is going to be equals to localhost also we have our database already created app.config and it's going to be my SQL user equals you saw that my user was root. Let's call another config config with my SQL my SQL okay password. I don't have any password, so let's add an empty string there. Add that config again. MySQL DB. Okay, this is in the database on which we are going to um, connect. So this one is Flask Posts Tut. And the last one, config. This one is going to be the folder that we're going to use to handle our temporal files and we already have the upload folder okay so now we start we're going to start using what we have and also let's add to our application sorry let's define my SQL and let's use my SQL and pass the application okay and also create or instead of creating and um, adding course to our application okay let's go to firebase again so let me add uh, I have my videos here okay let me go to downloads because I'm going to handle that we need to go to the console. Remember that we created this one. Okay, or should, you should have your uh, application created. And let's go to web. Let's say flask toots. No, flask post toots. Just like that. Fuck it. Toot. Let's not configure the hosting and register application. But um, we forgot to add something, or I forgot to add something that is Flask Firebase 4. No, sorry, it's Firebase 4. And let's add that there. So we need to start Parbase for. Let's close this inside our environment. Pip env install. Um, is Parbase right? Yep. Parbase for. Parbase for. Okay. Installing. And uh, do, do, do. let's config. I mean, let's add our config to what we have here. So this is going to be for Firebase. So let's say Firebase config. Okay, let's wait for that to install. It's still installing Firebase. 
So here we're going to add an object and let me get my um, all this um, is this one and here the only difference is that we're going to add or wrap the keys inside quotes double quotes okay let's save that it's still installing it's taking a bit to install and um, what else can we do because we need that okay okay well let's add here a comment uh, firebase no init firebase okay is creating the log file now let's wait um a minute okay so that's done let's run the flask application just in case and now we can import parbase okay let me get the import right it's just like that import parbase so let's go to the pip file you can see that we have parbase for install let's save that and let's continue with um, initializing or firebase app okay let me scroll a little bit no nope, let's scroll a little bit okay firebase is going to be equal to parbase initialize app using the config we created and we're going to use the storage and um, firebase storage that's the only thing we're going to use we need a place to save our files because okay let me give me a second to add this firebase storage so this is a function <coughs> so we need um, a place to add our uploads because um, one approach would be to add the um, files, the folder we have. Let me open this up again. Why I close that shit? To have um, inside, okay. Oh, okay. Or this will have inside another application. I'm just going to add it here because why not? Um, that is going to be Angular 8 application. You might be thinking why we don't add inside the assets because Angular can access the assets folder, right? Well, although you will see that uh, when we add the application, why we are using this approach. But um, the assets are only um, being read when the application starts, okay, when it compiles the first time. So there's no way we can um, keep track of the uploads we are having, okay. So that's why we are going to keep these uploads here. But um, Angular cannot access again a file or I mean a folder that is outside the source. Or well, technically it can, but um, it's going to be a problem to manage that. So the best way is going to have this uploads folder just like a middleware that is going to receive the file and then it's going to be used in order to send the file to the storage okay, inside Firebase. So that is the approach we are going to use to store our file online but to um, first make the file to be inside these uploads and once we have the file add everything to mysql and then push the file to the storage okay and of course this is going to be deleted from here okay 
So this is the approach we're going to check. Um, later, once we add the Angular folder, the Angular project, uh, you're going to check um, this in a better way. But right now, let's do something because we need to, in order to make this work, so this is going to be only the configuration. We need to get something. Is um, no, no. We need to get something. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to where the fuck project configuration and service accounts. So we need to generate a new one. Yep, generate. Okay, it's going to add that inside my downloads. You can see I have a lot of crap on my downloads that I don't want you to see. <laughs> so, um, you can see that, let's take a minute to check this. We already have this here, okay? But this is not going to work. Our storage is not going to work like that. It's going to deny us the access to the storage. Why? Because, um, Okay, it should be, um, I could just try to do it, but since it's just a mere, um, yeah, you will see. So we already downloaded our, our private key, okay? We have that downloaded and we're going to move that to the folder we have, okay? This paste that. We're going to rename it just for the sake of it a key file JSON and now we're going to add something inside our configuration so we need to add the service account this service account in order to get the um, token to access or or to allow us to add files into our um, project or Firebase project, okay? So that's only, it. that's why we need the service account. That is the file we just downloaded, okay? And um, we already have the storage here. The app is initialized. So let me close this and start it again. You can see the service, the server is running again without any problem and we have everything set to start with MySQL so you saw how to create the database how to create this um, file okay, with Flask how to install the dependencies inside the environment we manage here the configurations okay, that are needed and the service account that is needed in order to manage our um, uploads. So now we will start creating the real um, routes and adding things to, to um, MySQL. Okay. So I'm going to close the video or stop the video now and we will continue in the next one.